we already have our adjustment, we can now prepare our income statement. So we can prepare income statement. Income statement. So we have our dry balance income statement. So we will get the name from the dry balance, which is DIY hardware, and then the statement of operation. Okay, so equals to we get the for the period covered. Okay. And then we can start now our income statement. Okay, so let's start with the name of uh, this one. We have yeah, revenue. So revenue. We use revenue, cost of sale, admin, and selling. So we only have four accounts here. So we have revenue equals to, and then go to your trial balance to get the name of the revenue. Okay. And then we have our amount, which is eight million four hundred fifty. Okay, and then we deduct our cost of sale. Cost of sales. So we can get the amount from the three million. So three million is the cost of sale. And then we have the gross. Profit. So, because uh, when we deduct these two, revenue minus cost is equal to gross profit. So, we uh, our amount is, uh, this one is 5,450,000. Okay. And then, upon getting the gross profit, we are now ready to deduct all the operating expenses. So, operating expenses are divided into selling and administrative expense. So, you already know that. Okay. So, we have selling expense. Oh, don't forget that, that we have an adjustment. So, it will be added to our selling expense. Administrative expense. I, sorry. Why did I write? We can get the account here we have the selling sorry okay and then we have the administrative expense okay okay we get first the amount of the admin expense because there is no other added account here one million to fifty and then we get the amount of the selling which is eight hundred thousand plus the adjustment of depreciation of four. So we add the service vehicle, we add the machineries depreciation, we add the office equipment depreciation, and we also add the amount of the furniture and, uh, and fixtures depreciation expense. Okay, so we have two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four adjustment plus the trial balance. Okay. And then, we will add these two in order to deduct from the gross profit. So, we add these two. So, we have 3,601,000. So, what will happen when we deduct it to our gross profit? We now have our operating income. Okay. Okay. So, equals to the amount of the gross profit minus the amount of the uh, operating expense uh, so we have our operating income of 1849 so as we have the 1849 we can deduct now our what will we deduct our income tax payable Va, right so we have income tax or the income tax payable so, income tax payable is 30% of operating income. So, we divide equals to, uh, sorry, we, we, we divide, we multiply. 1849 asterisk, asterisk is multiplication, times 0.30. So, we have 554700 income tax. 
Then we we now get our complete amount of the net income. Okay, so we have our sorry, we have our net income. Okay, so we need to double rule this one because this is the last amount, and perfectly we can um, put it like this, and then we have. Operating income minus the amount the income tax is equals to one two nine four three hundred. So what do we expect from this one? We will also try to add the um the computation under vertical analysis. So vertical analysis is computed. Uh, with your percentage on the amount or on the actual amount of the um, income statement, so we have we 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 can insert another this one maybe this one. I want to insert another account. I mean another row. Okay. What did I do? What happened? What happened? Mm -hmm. Ah, sorry. Sorry, sorry. There's this slight uh, computation. So we 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 prepare here as the amount of the statement of operation. So we can produce our vertical analysis. So this is the vertical analysis. So we have the percentage. Okay. Again. You can prepare it as percentage and then put one, two in order to get the uh, two decimal places. So we have revenue of 100%. And then cost of sale is uh, all other account are numerator and then the, the, the denominator is the revenue because you already know that under... Uh, statement of operation revenue is always the base percentage so base means denominator so we can use this one equals to the amount of cost divided by the amount of revenue in order to get the percentage of cost of sale okay so we already computed the cost of sale so maybe uh, we can deduct or we can use again the pers the uh, the base method, which is the 5450 of gross profit divided by the amount of revenue. And then we have the amount of total operating expense divided by the amount of revenue. Okay, or maybe uh, we, we you can also deduct okay, gross profit minus the percentage of operating expense. Okay, so you can use two process deduct or use the base percentage uh, sub subtraction okay and this one we can use income tax divided by the amount of the revenue in order to get the percentage so we have okay and then the last part is because you already know the operating income and income tax percentage maybe you can just deduct or you can use also the base percentage method so we have 15.32%, which is good because under the computation of the ratio analysis under uh, incomes, uh, net income, 
uh, we need to have at least 15% minimum in order to raise or in order to know if the uh, if the business is still in operation uh, is, is still good when it comes to operation so it's good naman so again this one is our income statement so we can put it like this I sorry center lang natin okay so that's our net income 